basically is made, uh, and it'll extend, it's an ascender stem loop, which means it'll go up to just shy of this very top line. And the bottom of the shade will stop right at the bottom of the second of the first of the first descender space. So that letter will actually come all the way down like that. All right. And so it has a, it has an ascending stem loop. I'll go ahead and execute that now. Here comes the hairline lead-in. I always start my ascender stem, ascender stem loops just above the top of the first ascender space. And this is a wedge shape, so no pressure and increasing pressure like this. And I finally end it at the baseline, uh, at the baseline, at the bottom of the uh, first descender space. Okay. And so the reason why. I consider this part of the eye forms again because in this in this sense here you have some straightness of line where the eye would be but again it's starting to transition to a much different shape and so to say that an eye really forms this letter is pushing it so now I'll go ahead and make my usual stem loop up and over the top like that and then just simply put a hairline finishing stroke here there's many ways to finish the bottom uh, at the baseline of the F, many different ways to do it. If you wanted to form this letter by coming up, then swinging out for the loop, up, around, over the top, and down, feel free to do it. If it works for you, it's fine. I can't make them that way. It's not consistent for me. This is the way I make my, my lowercase f's. And then the last letter form is the K, and that's an ascender loop as well. This is a little bit trickier letter to do. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how I execute that now. Good. Just like always, we'll have our lead in with our hairline like that. I'll make my typical stem loop at the top come down, but now I'll cut it off at the baseline here. All right. I come up and over the top again. like that and now I make a little squiggly front section to it there's many different K's but I like my case to look sort of like this where you have a little compound curve up that goes above the header line like this coming down right to the middle of the X height put a little tiny loop there come down again and curve it out almost like a V shape that's my lowercase K and to show you that portion of it again, compound curve, loop, down. Okay, one of the things the scenario manual always points out is that this particular K, if you make an H, fits within the size of that H, okay? I think this is a very pretty form of the letter K, I really like this a lot, but you essentially have a compound curve, a loop, and then sort of a V-shape down at the bottom that curves gracefully out. And thank you very much for your attention.